Good afternoon and welcome to the FTS Bet Slip on um, Monday the 17th of August. Hope you're all well. New week. Just had a nice little touch in China while I was uh, doing a bit of trading before I did this. Um, right, what have I got? What have I got? Right, I want to try and get to back to some sort of normality. We've all been a little bit uh, rushed and, and, and busy. Um, and it isn't, uh, it's not how I like it, um, dealing with idiots, I'll be honest, a lot of the time, and I don't mean that disparagingly, but people are, uh, amazing when you say to people, and um, it reminds me of a, it reminds me of a story, I went, I was about 18, 19, and I went um, into the Friary Shopping Centre in Guildford, to get some clothes going to college I oh, just finished college I think I was just starting work and um, a mate of mine was, was a couple of us and he was buying some shoes and we're in this shoe shop and he um, he said can I have a size 8 uh, shoe and the woman went out and got the shoes like they do come in put them on he went there a bit tight and she said, do you want to try a nine? And he went, but I'm a size eight. And she said, yeah, but that is an eight. It's a bit tight. So do you want to go up a size, try a nine? He said, but I'm not a nine. I've always been an eight. And I sort of stood there bewildered, saying, well, it doesn't matter what number you are. If they don't fit, then have a bigger size. And he wouldn't buy these shoes because he wasn't a nine. And I'm I'm reliving that at the minute every single day with email. I'm... Um, telling people that their email doesn't work and they come back and go, but I've always used it. Yeah, well, I don't care if you've always used it, it doesn't work. Your AOL is bouncing back to me or your BT internet dot, btinternet.com, I think they've changed company, haven't they? They are being horrendous. So any email I send, particularly if it goes through the membership side of things, just bounces back. And um, I try and tell people and they go, yeah, but I've always used that. Yeah, well, I, can't, I don't care. It's not working now, is it? So... um yeah, it's been very, just gets a bit wearing after a while, getting the same crap back. Um, so there's a hint I'm saying, Ultimate Guys, etc. Is Gmail is by far the most, or the best. Um, right, it, this next few weeks, I, I keep sort of saying, but it is all about how people set up. Um, I'm going to do a couple of Ultimate Sessions, and that's really where my focus is going to be. Um, is with the ultimate members which is pretty much fixed odds betting um you know make it as simple as possible do it on a friday and tuesday and get on with your lives and then my trading group as well will be having some zooms to get that set up but that's that's i'm fairly okay with um but the ultimate guys particularly those of you are new and using the new tools um i will stress many times less is more i think from some of the stuff I've seen and feedback, people are trying to do far too much, cover far too many leagues, far too many systems, far too many bits. Um, again, for that sort of fear of oh, missing out, and I found this one and I found that one. You can find as many as you like, and there's nothing wrong with putting them in a in something like the Power Builder sheet and keeping an eye on them and following them. But when it comes to actually betting... My opinion, my view is you're better having a few systems and bigger stakes than trying to do everything and bet it to two quids or fivers. Um, we actually want to get you making some money and turning this into a profit. Um, and that is all it's about. I'm not interested in anything else. Um, and I think that you will achieve that greater by um, perhaps getting a little bit out of your comfort zone, which is a lot of it with people, and betting slightly bigger, but on less. Um, and then we grow it from there. And, and those systems you found do not need to go to waste. They can be introduced later when you've won money. Um, and I come back to what I sort of said last week, where you see people messing around in, in this game and, and fiddling around with fivers, it's almost like they want to be part of something and want to do it, but not serious about making money. I'm not criticising what anybody does. I'm just saying that that's my opinion. I think you're better having 
Um, you know, if you found 10 things at work, perhaps betting three or four of them for bigger money rather than trying to bet all 10 at this stage, particularly if you're starting out and you're new. That is just my view. Um, but I will cover things like that in the ultimate um, um, thing on Friday night um, and try and do some illustrations and make it a bit clearer for people so that they can see what I'm talking about. Um, just again, look, if I can get some graphs ready, it just depends on time. Um, so that is that side of it. Um, I've got some football, did okay again yesterday, got some football. Things are starting to settle down and getting a bit of form in some of these leagues. I've got some football today. Spurs signing Joe Hart, so I'm quite... I'm quite tired, guys. I'll be honest. I am quite tired. Sorry, that just take time out. Answer the front door. A uh, delivery for my son's um, girlfriend. Um, yes. Oh, and another one before I forget, and I will. Uh, Graham Sterling, happy birthday. Graham is uh, one of our Scottish contingent. Um, lovely guy. Been to a couple of seminars, Graham. Um, just what you'd call an all round good egg. Um, yeah, so happy birthday, Graham. Hope you're having a good one, son, up there in Jockland. I did speak to Scotland this morning. I heard it's not too, it's a bit cold and wet and windy up there. It's a surprise, isn't it? But, um, yeah, have a good birthday, mucker. Um, yeah, so my focus, as I say, this next couple of weeks is getting, getting you guys set up. Um, and I will share some bits on the pod as we go through that process, um, for those not involved. Um, with FTS, I do try and you know try and help anybody if we can. Um, it does, you know, it is really for me. It really is this time of year. Look at what you're going to do for the next twelve months um, before things get flying next week, and then you're just into your process and doing whatever you're going to do. Um, and we've got we got some different bits to sort of introduce over a period of time to try and help people, um, but. Yeah, I'll be doing that Friday is the first ultimate Zoom. Um, and we will go over everything as much as possible. Um, and if you can't make it, don't panic. I mean, it is a lot of this is aimed at new guys starting out. If you can't make it or you've got all your stuff settled, you know what you're doing. Uh, it'll be recorded and you can watch it back um, from there. All right, I've got no data. Not even much you know fun i mean i'm not doing anything really at the minute just sitting in front of this poxy computer at the minute and doing queries um i will have some stories and things and some well, the fun will return i promise you um i've written out a pod template we're gonna have a new layout it's gonna be it's gonna be great as donald would say it's gonna be great it's gonna be the best gonna be great gonna be great gonna be the best um, right, football. Did I give the football? I don't even know whether I did or didn't. This is a sort of shambles I am, isn't it? Um, hold on a second. Is that done? That's done. Let me do that. There's a couple of games in Sweden, I think, of interest today. Um, let me just save this file so I don't lose it. That's there, that's there, yeah, live, live in Dropbox. Um, okay, and then I can open that sheet now, which is there. Rubbish, isn't it? You just, you just would think I'd have this organised for you. Uh, okay, here we go. It is um, Helsingborg Sirius. Um, if that is nil nil late on first half, twenty five minutes onwards, uh, in Sweden at six o'clock, Helsingborg Sirius, then a first half goal, drip it in, um, and uh, Gothenburg Norkoping, Gothenburg Norkoping. Um, if that is nil nil at half time, Gothenburg Norkoping only if it's nil nil at half time. Um, back in over one and a half goals, I'd let it get to even money and then drip back over one and a half goals, remove your liability on a goal. Gothenburg versus Norkopping again, six o'clock. So, both those six o'clock kickoffs in Sweden. Um, got Belgium tonight, last game of the ultimate process. I'll do the results, but nothing for midweek. 
Um, so ultimate guys, I'll be back Friday with that with the next one. Um, yeah, and I'll be back with you tomorrow. I am going to turn my attention back to the horses. I have neglected it a little bit. I'm well aware a couple of you have reminded me, but um, it's just obviously we've had a strange time with the football um, schedule with COVID. So I'm I am. I keep saying it, but I am genuinely pretty much getting back to some sort of normal now. I've, once I've got all these members' queries and things sorted, my actual day-to-day -day routines are getting back to some sort of normality. So I can see light at end of tunnel and uh, lots of profits ahead. Right, have a lovely Monday afternoon, and I'll be back with you uh, tomorrow, guys. <laughs>